Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, this is Redberry Leo here, and welcome back to another Civil Air Patrol video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the first talk guide and the new senior member guide, which are two tools that squadrons should use for brand new senior members that are coming into their units. Now, when you have a new senior member coming into the unit, there is something called a unit membership board that should be in place where the new senior member or the pr prospective senior member is interviewed by at least two current senior members in the unit a little bit about like what their background is, why they wanna join Civil Air Patrol and kind of get an understanding of who the person is. And primarily that's just to make sure that the person is a good fit for the unit in addition to just Civil Air Patrol being a good fit for them to be involved with. So the first talk guide goes over the different questions that the unit membership board should go over and talk about like major overarching points within Civil Air Patrol. For example, it asks about questions, or it asks questions about how would you feel about following regulations? Some people may not necessarily like being bound by regulations, and if there was a regulation that they may not agree with, what kind of steps would they take? And there's no right or wrong answer to all of these questions. It's just a matter of seeing how they respond and like, would this person interact well with cadets? And we, we wanna make sure that we're fostering a positive, safe environment for everyone. And by having that first talk, having that unit membership board, we can make sure that the members that are joining is, they, they have the best intentions in mind as they come into the program and they will contribute actively to the unit that they join. So if you do not currently have a unit membership board, I highly recommend looking into creating one. And it's, it's good to have probably six members within your unit actively preparing and having that board together. And then once, once a prospective member meets with that unit membership board, they make a recommendation to the squadron commander saying, yes, we should proceed with that person's application or we should really reconsider it and the squadron commander would have to have a conversation with that prospective member saying, at this time, we may not want to proceed with your membership. Now, it normally doesn't happen. Normally, you don't see a whole lot of red flags, but it's also to introduce Civil Air Patrol. So you might talk about the three main missions, talking about aerospace education, cadet programs, emergency services, talk about the different specialty tracks. I did make a video on specialty tracks, so you can check that out up here but telling them there are all sorts of different opportunities within Civil Air Patrol that they can get involved with. Like if someone is really interested in photography as a, as a hobby and they take really fantastic pictures, they might be perfect for the public affairs team or they may not because they don't wanna take pictures for Civil Air Patrol and they might wanna help with like logistics or something. There is always going to be some kind of specialty track for adult members to get involved with and they should at least pick one functional area that they would be interested in investigating more. The first talk guide is a great place to get started in having that discussion with those prospective members, set up what their expectations for the program will be, and get them started on the right foot. And then there is the new senior member guide. And mind you, I will be posting both of these guides in the description down below. The new senior member guide, at the very end of it, it discusses something called the new member plan of action. So the version in the new senior member guide, that's the new member plan of action, is outdated because professional development has turned into the education and training program, so it's slightly different now. I don't think they've updated it yet, but they will eventually. And when they do, it's, it's very good to look at when do we want to accomplish each of these things? When do we want to be assigned to our first duty position? When are you going to take your Jaeger test? When are you going to complete your level two? Part one and part two. And like figuring out what specialty track you might really wanna pursue and then maybe a secondary one. So all of these things would be determined with the new member plan of action. And then that new member plan of action should be filed into that member's folder, their personnel file with all of the documentation that's associated with them. And so then when they receive feedback, when they are further along in the program, review, like the mentor can review that new member plan of action with that, that senior member and say, here are the different goals that you'd set when you first joined. Let's see which ones that you've met so far, which ones we can further support you with. 
And if there's anything that we can do to help further your education and training and create additional goals. And I think it is very important to have that plan of action because by setting goals, we're setting members up for success because they can look at the long term of here are the steps that I need to accomplish in order to progress in the program. Some people don't join to progress. Some people are just like, I'm going to join, I'm going to do my thing, and that's it. At least finish level two, part one. That is at least what n new members should do. If they don't want to finish level two, part two, it's, it's really not that difficult to do the level two, part two, and part one. But if the level two, part one is required for them to have an accelerated promotion. So if they're a professional and they should get like captain for something, like if they're a CFI, or if they were previously in the military or are currently in the military and they want the equivalent grade, then they needed to finish level two, part one first. And if you want more information about the new education and training system, I did make a short overview video, which is linked in the art card as well. So I think that if, if you are a brand new senior member and you're checking this video out, Hello, welcome to Civil Air Patrol, and please feel free to look at that new senior member guide. That new senior member guide also kind of walks through the process of what Civil Air Patrol is. Though it is a little bit outdated, it has some really good information out there about opportunities as a senior member in addition to getting involved. If you do have any questions for me about the different specialty tracks that you can get involved with, though I do have a video on it, if you, if you have any questions for me about that, or starting a unit membership board, which I think is really important, all sh units should realistically have, please feel free to email me or leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, and that is all folks, until next time, toodles.